stuff, y'all. So anyway, um, I wanted to discuss about how you can get your skin whitening lotions to work a lot more, uh, a lot more. How to work more effectively and efficiently for you. The reason why it's, um, some of you don't notice like a difference in your skin when you're using most of these skin whiteners and lighteners is because you're not using them the correct way. Uh, the correct way on how you can get your skin whiteners, how you can get any moisturizer, skin moisturizer to work for your skin is that you don't completely dry your skin off. Like as soon as you get out the tub, don't leave your skin a little bit damp is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, also leave your bathroom a little bit steamy. Some people, what they will do um, before they apply their moisturizer is allow for their skin to just basically dry up their skin completely. And that's not going to help um, your skin to uh, have the ability to effectively and efficiently absorb these products. So what you actually want to do is wait no longer than, than a minute to apply your lotions. You can leave your skin a little bit wet. I'm not saying to leave it, like, you know, to have your, you know, to leave your skin completely wet, but at least make sure that your skin is a little damp, okay? And I have some pictures and I'll show it to you. Um, I hope they, they come, come out on time because for whatever reason, um, I don't know, something is just going on with YouTube that, you know, now that when you upload your videos, it seems like uh, when you edit your videos, the things that you post, uh, like the little, you know, uh, parts of information that I, you know, parts of information that I post on my videos is not coming out on time. So what you want to do is leave your skin a little bit damp. Also your face as well. Um, and uh, stay in a bathroom. Don't open the door and allow for the steam to go out. You know, apply your lotions while the bathroom is still steamy and your skin is still sweating a little bit. And I did explain that in a video. About, I think last year I explained that when my skin, when, my, when I really, really uh, effectively, when, when my skin was uh, a, a lot more lighter than it is now. Um, right now I'm using Jarl's Formula Glutathione. So I'm not using my skin moisture. I'm not using any skin moisturizer except for my face. Right now I'm using something from a, a company called Skin Whitening Labs, um, and it's just for my face. I, I really like this product. I have been using it for a while, so I can't do a uh, wait to do a review on a product. Give me one one second because that might be the post office. So what I was basically saying, and the moral of what I was saying is that you shouldn't wait longer than um, a one minute or even thirty seconds. Go ahead and. You know, basically, I, I wish I was in the, in the bathroom right now, but I, you know, YouTube have these new regulations that I can't show you um, any parts or forms of my my body because then my videos will get flagged and you won't be able to watch the video because they'll pull it off. But what I'm saying is that you don't want to wait um, too long. You don't want to completely dry your skin. You don't want to dry your skin off completely with your dry towel, okay? You basically, what you would do is just like damp your skin just slightly, okay? Not all rough, like, you know, so I know as a guy, like, I used to be really rough when it came to drying up my skin, but as I am growing and learning, I'm learning, you know, that one thing that I did do in the past was I never, I never completely dried my skin off when I used my skin whitening lotions, my whitening lotions. I always applied them basically right after getting, not right after getting out the shower, but about like a minute um, after getting out the shower. And I also left my bathroom a little bit steamy. I did make a video of uh, uh, teaching you guys this, um, a video of like, a, like last year or maybe two years ago, and I was teaching you about like the Japanese um, bath uh, thing, where you basically just apply your product and sit in a steamy bathroom for about like, you know, maybe two minutes and have your skin just basically sweat a little bit and then apply your moisturizer, that will be, that will really help your skin whiteness to um, work a lot more faster. Um, and I'm not saying that it's gonna work like within a week or two weeks, but it'll work a lot more faster than normal. So if the skin whitening lotion, you know, I, if, if there's a lotion that works within like two months, you know, like most lotions like fair and white take about like two months to work. Um, instead of uh, having your, instead of having to wait two months to have your lotions to work, you can basically um, you can basically just cut down on that time, so it'll be a lot more faster. So maybe within a month, you can get your skin whitening lotions to work for you within a month. 
So don't forget that I told you guys that you don't want to completely um, dry, you know, just basically dry your skin off um, as soon as you get out the tub. What you want to do is just leave your skin a little bit damp, okay? Um, so this way, your skin products will be absorbed into your skin a lot more effectively and a lot more efficiently. Um, and this way, it can work a lot more faster as well. So again, don't forget that I said, uh, number one, don't, uh, you know, the first thing you do as soon as you get out, um, out the shower, out from your bath, your nice little steamy bath. Um, I don't even recommend anyone use like hot water anymore because I've learned that hot water has a tendency to cause premature aging um, with the skin. Like it will cause your skin to wrinkle. Um, if you, if you um, watch that video that I made, it's a video that I did where I was showing you guys that my skin is starting um, to sag a little bit and that's because I used to uh, do like my 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 bath my my baths and my showers. Uh, I used to just stay in a shower and in the in the tub basically for like a whole hour, and that's something that you don't want to do. Like I used to also stay in the tub, like I would wash up for like two hours, and you definitely don't want to do that because what that's basically doing is moving. Remo what that's basically doing is removing a lot of uh, moisturized. It, it's basically removing your skin's um, own natural oil. Okay, it's stripping your skin from its own natural oil, and that is, that is not good because your skin starts to become even more dry no matter how much moisturizer you're using. So again, um, don't completely dry up your skin when you get out the tub. Leave it a little bit damp. Go ahead and apply your moisturizer, even if you know you're. I mean, just it, it's best that if it. it I'll be right back. Okay, for those of you who are subscribed to my page, thank you so much for being subscribed. For those of you who are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to leave a comment underneath the comment section below. I want to know how are you guys applying your moisturizer? Because as I said, you don't want to wait um, for your skin to dry. You don't want to completely dry your skin off, okay? Um, when you get ready to apply, apply your moisturizer, leave your skin a little bit damp. Even stay in the bathroom for a little while if your bathroom is a little bit steamy. Um, because this way it'll, it'll definitely keep your pores open. Um, and you know, it'll just basically help your skin to absorb most of these products. You know, most of the, you know, whatever skin moisturizer you're using. Um, if you can notice my elbow area is well moisturized and that's because I follow basically the tips and the, you know, this is what I would call like a tip and, uh, well actually a trick to get your skin products to work um, more effectively and efficiently as I said. And you can notice that my elbow area is a lot more, it, it, a lot more, it, it's basically uh, well moisturized is what I would say. Some people have very dry elbows and this is definitely not the sign of dry elbows. This is a sign of like well moisturized skin. I um, mean, you can also notice just basically my shoulder area. It's not only my shoulder area, but my whole body is moisturizing as well. Moisturized because I drink a ton of water. Um, basically, almost a liter a day. Some people recommend you drink like a gallon of water, but I don't recommend you do that. Uh, stick to about like a liter or half a liter or maybe a liter and a half. Um, and go ahead, as I said, and apply your moisturizer while your skin is still damp. So anyway, take care and I hope you're all having a great day.